possibly bad. Welcome back to On the Couch. It's time for old trusty Kim. Uh, I don't think Fuck. that's. Oh. I didn't even think it was going to work oh, in the water. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, it's below him. It sank. Yeah, I, I don't know if you can kill that fish until you pull it out, pull out the water. Uh, that's right. Still got him with literally the <laughs> last ripple of that. <laughs> Old trusty. The big AOE. Oh, you got another one. That's only got a drain regardless. Yeah. And see you later. Bye. Oh, so good. Feels great. That's the like. Anything where you can plunge attack into something feels well, really Well, that hyper great. strike also, like, it, like how quickly it dropped you to the ground is like, that's so much faster than like any other, <laughs> right. any other game. It's beautiful. Hmm. Well. What the fuck was that noise? I'm terrified. Did you? The fuck? All right. Use that super soaker. Suck it. All right, drain it yeah, out. Put, yeah, put it How was that in. thing fitting all that water? I call bullshit. Yeah, space. Sure. <laughs> space rules. Oh, uh, that's what was making noise. Uh, he took more than one oh, hit. didn't see it. He took more than one hit. You Whoa. know my rule. <laughs> oh, fuck. They take more than... Well, now these guys probably take one hit, but... <laughs> it, like, splits in multiple. You, you got to Aquatos on in Ouya. That's the same enemies. I was gonna say, I feel like I've seen these guys before. Yeah, same, same type of enemies, at least. Nice. Give me all the so shit. So good. And thank God this game has a treasure magnet from the start. Yeah! That that reminds me of like I like recently I feel like there's been a fair number of games. Oh, you gotta escape for shit. Um, a fair number of games, especially on certain hardware. I don't want to call anybody out, Nintendo, but uh, <laughs> uh, on Switch hardware in particular. Um, but a lot of games that like have had lag just fucking in the game that's released in 2019 or yeah. 2018 or whatever. Um, and what I, the reason like I bring that up, what I was going to say is that the bolts all like sucking in in this game remind me how in Ouya, not pretty much nothing in that game lagged on PS2, um, except the only time it had lag, really, is if you had a massive amount of bolts on screen. Uh -huh. Like, just a, a huge number. As they were all, like, sucking into Ratchet, right. it would it would lag the game a little bit occasionally. Of course, right and I look at... Oh, dang. Time to, oh. time to escape from the sewers again. Uh, and that's such a, like... That's such a moment of you could eliminate that lag, but they actually used it to greater effect. For like effect yes. Right, yeah, like I guarantee they knew that it existed and they left it there. Like they just, they could have reduced the bolt counts in any one place, right, to avoid the lag. But instead, they used that hardware limitation as an an artistic advantage mm -hmm. and it really bums me out that nowadays you have like games that are still just introducing lag for no f good fucking reason like the only acceptable way to have lag in a game is like how you did it i think where right you use it to the advantage of making it feel more impactful because you powerful, you yeah. effectively get a big slowdown effect as you're collecting a lot of things which is just like that's just cool. <laughs> You're just getting this cool slowdown as you collect all this right. shit. No one complains about that part. That was close. As opposed to like fucking uh, uh, Mario Maker 2 having. Or honestly, I love Mario Odyssey, but I'm still like. Or why? SNL, yeah. Why? <laughs> Metro Kingdom, why does that shit still lag, dude? Yeah. There it should not be lagging in video games. If you have lag in your video game nowadays, like you need to fix something. Hey. Like. Or tune something. Something back. needs to be optimized, especially or for a first, especially for a first-party game, right? Like Super Mario Odyssey. Mm. Breath of the Wild 
Mm -hmm. Had frame rate issues all over the fucking place, too. Granted, that was at least more developed for Wii U and then put on Switch. Thrown on Switch. And I think it was the frame rate was much more stable on Wii U from what I understand, but. Like. But my point is, Nintendo, get your shit together. Make some better hardware. I know. It's like, I love Nintendo You make such consoles. good games, dude. Like, they make good games, but they make bad hardware. And, like, not bad ideas with their hardware. Just bad hardware. Wait, what was this? It's got three guns. Uh. Oh. Collect. Wait, so I can't build either off the two. Oh, yeah. So you have to find Rhino. Har so Rhino is, uh. Is like the best weapon in every Ratchet and Clank game. Oh, power all. Continue. Oh yeah, puzzles. Rotate the ring. You get puzzles now. Detected port powered. Proceed to next power remaining port. Oh, there you go. That's it. Okay. Puzzles. Um. Shit, those. So that might be a Rhino card. Um. You haven't looked at any of the cards. Do you want to look at them? Uh, options. Start. <laughs> it's start. Yeah. Uh. Big Al here. You've just collected. You can earn single okay. holo cards by defeating enemies, or you can right. explore secret areas to find yep. packs of three. Your no doubt. He's very familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I bought all these. Yeah. <laughs> Open, Open pack. pack. Oh my god! This actual trading cards is all I'm gonna do now. <laughs> okay, so Rhino, Rhino card. Yeah. So the Rhino is generally the best weapon in every Ratchet and Clank game. At least, like, that's... It's the supposed to be the most powerful. Right, right, right. Uh, do you, Rhino is an acronym. Do you want to know what Rhino stands for? R rapid Ratchet R What? No, I, I want to hear. Now I need Ring. to hear this. As you're opening more packs, I need to hear. what What's your... what? Give me your acronym for Rhino. Rhino. It's R Y N O to be clear. Oh, R Y N O, rapidly. <laughs> Improv one on one with Spike uh, Vegeta. <laughs> uh, uh, rapid, uh, rapidly. What the fuck starts with Y? I can work for this shit. Rapidly, uh, um, uh, yellow. <laughs> okay. Rapidly yellow nano uh, nano gear uh, uh, optometrist. <laughs> Rapidly yellow nano <laughs> gear optometrist. Optometrist. Oval. All right. Hold on. Uh, wait, I nailed like wait. three out of four, right? <laughs> Your eye doctor is just yep. rapidly yellow yep. and nano gear it, for some Orange. Something? Nano, what nano gear? Okay, nano um, gear. no, surprisingly, nano gear had surprisingly, the none of gave in none that. of those were correct. All right, which um, just keep playing the game. Sure, completely. Uh, Holocard card sets allows you to. Get um, no, the the correct answer is rip you a new one. <laughs> rip you a new one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking way too optometrist with that. <laughs> way too optometrist. Combuster. <laughs> Where the hell did op? Optometrist card. Oh, yeah. You're actually collected your first Rhino card. Cool. Yes, I did. To switch between your normal holo cards. Rhino and cards. L1 and R1. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. Unlike normal no, uh, holo cards, you cannot trade for Rhino cards and they do not give you any bonuses to completing sets. Yeah. But collect all three Rhino sets and you can trade them for the real Rhino. Good luck. Ooh. Ooh. You have enough duplicate cards to trade for a new card. Yeah. Okay. To start trading. So I thought that was kind of neat because the Rhino normally is like, usually it's just a super powerful weapon that unlocks when you do challenge mode, when you do new game plus uh -huh. and costs a shitload of money. That's like usually what it is, um, which is also good. It's like your end, your last big goal for like in, in Ouya, I'm going to because you won't like probably do new game plus on on this show. Um, it costs a million bolts. In Uya. Jesus. To buy that weapon, yeah. Uh, it's really good, though. <laughs> uh, which of these can, is the... I'm not what? understanding. The, the duplicates. That Trade I can... duplicates. Do you have any duplicates? It says duplicates X02. Uh... 
those two. No, hit circle, maybe? First? Maybe you were like, maybe you picked something first. Uh, uh, trade in five duplicate cards. So you must have duplicates somewhere. Where the fuck? I don't remember how this... Oh, wait, are those the same? No, those are different. Those two wrenches. Uh... I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, moving on. <laughs> yeah. You probably won't end up getting the rhino on this playthrough, anyways. But I, it was neat that they did a they did a different thing for the rhino. Yeah. More rewarding exploration than just mm -hmm. bolts. The cards actually mean something. Yeah. So those are like, oh, those are just like the random little collectibles of this game. Yeah, I think they mostly are. But... So this is the planet that the race is on. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Yeah. Can we go do it? Ooh, a Groovatron. A Groovatron. This one creates an instant dance party, making enemies vulnerable to attack. I love it. <laughs> don't you like, I don't even need to see this other one. I'm definitely We're buying good. a Groovatron. We're good. almost 15,000. <laughs> all right. All right. Ooh. Shake the oh, alley. That one's for even more ra Raritanium. Raritanium. That's what it was. Is that what I said it was? The yes. Unobtainium. Well, unobtainium is the avatar thing, but I was trying to remember what the name of it was in this game, and I think I said raritanium. I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't. That was so long. That was a whole episode ago. That was that was so long ago. This is the greatest power up of all time. <laughs> So I do like the Groovatron a lot. <laughs> I think the Groovatron is a little polarizing, but I fucking love it. <laughs> I don't even want to kill them. <laughs> they, 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 they want to kill you though. <laughs> Groovatron's great, dude. Cause here's the thing about the Groovatron. Because it exists, it means every single enemy in this game has a dance has animation. a unique dance animation. I, just, I love it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Is that in the original? No, but I think it was in a game. Uh, okay. I don't think it was in any of the first three, but I'm pretty sure it was in a one of the PS3 ones or something else. Ooh. Never, it, it never really gets a ton of credit, but like Ratchet and Clank music is actually usually pretty good. It's really good. It's, yeah, it's, I feel like it gets almost drowned out in a way yes. by all the sound it, effects. It's and often in intentionally understated, um, like it's usually understated themes and stuff. Like it's meant to be background music, right? In a way, like a lot of. Um, a lot of video game music sometimes has a really strong melody so that it's catchy and, right. and you, you remember it and all that, especially in the old like NES, SNES, Genesis era right. um, where you probably didn't have people talking, you know, you didn't have voice acting, you didn't have dialogue. Uh, so you just needed a catchy tune that people could hum along to. You probably didn't have a lot of sound effects either, just like beeps and stuff for the most part. Right. Um, but nowadays, like, ever since Ratchet & Clank has started, like, you can have voice acting and really good sound effects and stuff. And because this game is all about explosions and shit, you're going to have a lot of sound effects. Yeah, right. But they, they often have really good music behind them. Like, even when you just are on the pause menu, it's got music to it, which it gets more groovy as it, like, as you sit on there longer, which right. is neat. So yeah, new things. They're good, like OSTs to. Ratchet Clank games are good OSTs to listen to. So it's so good, dude. They're good OSTs to listen to because you probably don't pay attention to the music very much as you're going through the game. Right. Oh, which I will say, like, I feel like that happens with a lot of video games, honestly. Sure. I feel like a lot of video games you don't notice. Like, I'm not trying to take anything away from like what no, you're no, saying, yeah, yeah. but like, I feel like. Actually, real quick. I'm Mr. Zircon. Um, I feel like a lot of games you don't notice the music initially because you're just like fuck, trying to like survive or something. Sure. You're talking about how much they love Mega Man music. 
I feel like it's on like second playthroughs and like just listening back to people being like, hey, don't you remember that Snake Man's really good? You were just trying to survive Snake Man the first time you played Snake Man. <laughs> Maybe, but also like all of those stages do kick you into like, like they immediately spawn you into a level where you're probably not going to have to move immediately, right? Like. Like, there's not an enemy bearing down on you from the moment you spawn in. Sure. You, you're generally left to, like, move to the right first for a little bit before you see your first enemy. So they do give you a chance to, like, hear that right. banging music pop in. Um, but, yeah, they, like, these games tend to put them more in, in kind of a background. Intentionally background music kind of thing. Big stack, big stack. Blow them up, blow them up. Ah, <laughs> oh, so nice. much shit. Yes. <laughs> Back, yeah. Oh, what'd that activate? Attention oh, the laser's the probably. Nice. <laughs> we need yeah, some so shit. What does that do? This close range arm cam fires bursts of energy that blasts enemies back in time, a time when resolution was a lot lower. Oh god, I want it. <laughs> I love just weapon creativity is like one of the Ratchet and Clank series' biggest strengths. And like this game doesn't even I would say is not even like it's in the top the echelon right. of like Ratchet and Clank creative weapons, and still it has some good ones. Like and just even good ideas, even if they're not like perfect in execution. Already in level cases. two for that. I'm loving it. Yeah. God, look, at this fucking dance part. Yep. And here's the classic combo. Yeah, I, that I know probably literally everyone uses. When I bought the the Groovatron on this planet, I did the same thing. It was like, all right, cool, Groovatron, Proton, Drum, yeah. Mister Zircon, and fucking shoot away. Maybe not even shoot at them, just walk around as they all die. Daily. Oh, oh hello. What the, oh, what the fuck? Um, is, you, do you want to use the Groovatron again? <laughs> Spike, have you ever seen a, a, a tank do with a moonwalk? <laughs> the Groovatron though does not last very long. Well, at least not at like early ranks, because it's because they make the, the enemies completely vulnerable, right? Like it's very powerful. Nice, big tasty explosion. Just really fucking tasty. Mister Zircon does shit and talks a lot. Sure. I think that's just set dressing. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. It does. It certainly does look like a like collectible, right? Like an indicator right? for something. Yeah. Like, hit this. Cool right. Nah. Hit shit. What's that? What do? happened? Are all the lights about to go out? Oh, oh. now you got some nodes to jump to now. Well. Hey. Oh, rare titanium. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> Yes, blow it all up, thank God. <laughs> it's been so fucking satisfying. Uh, I was gonna say, I uh, don't think I that's gonna work. That. No, that's the way you came from, yeah, too, so. Not a refill. Upgrade weapons, we got four of these. All right, where are you at? There it is. <laughs> Immediate, I like yeah. from for me, I was like, all right, let's start circling those question marks, like, on every weapon. Dancing enemies take even more damage. Yeah, we all got, right. Yeah, we got to. Yeah. Yeah, see what that effect is. <laughs> you literally have a long jump, like, I jet packed, I think, and you're still like, no, 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 you don't understand. Not everyone can do this. <laughs> and I'm doing it so poorly. <laughs> I can tell there were any TNT ears yeah. in there. I think you missed uh, another path back in the main open area. Oh, this shit. Yeah. There you go. Oh, hello. You know what? Tyra Oster is close to leveling up. Might actually level up with these two guys. 
It took me, we were playing this for how many hours? And I'm just now noticing the EXP near for mid on the top. Yeah, also when you hold triangle, you can see it. Like when you're like selecting the weapon. Right. See? Yeah, I see, I see. Damn, and we have not been using the prayer launcher at all. It will level up the Pyrocitor on the next episode. Whee! Bye. Oh, God, sorry, I broke it all. Drums, 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 yeah, drums, drums, yeah, drums. As a drummer, I'm crying right now. <laughs> <laughs>